All right, hey guys, it's Amanda again, and welcome now to the intermediate level of using the Kettle Buddy. If you're here, I'm assuming you've already gone through our beginner videos of our swings, cleans, clean and presses, as well as the squats and the overhead slams. If you haven't, go back and watch those right now because those are really good information, even if you're like a D1 athlete, right? Like that's good information to know that you can like just use those as endurance work, as extra cardio, how to use your kettle buddy, all that fun jazz. All right, so today what we're gonna talk about is our intermediate level of how to take those beginner level exercises and make them just a little teeny tiny bit harder, a little bit more comboed and complex, okay? So we're gonna talk about taking that kettlebell swing, taking that overhead slam, and we're gonna smoosh them together because we have this awesome kettle buddy, right? Normally, uh, I'm just gonna use this as my example, right? Normally, I would have to go with my swings, right? With my kettle buddy, or my kettlebell, right? This is the cast iron one, right? Don't wanna be able to throw this. And then I'd have to drop this, and then I have to go over to my ball and do my overhead sling by itself, right? But we have the kettle buddy, cause we're smarter than everybody else. And we're gonna do these both together for making a really awesome, explosive endurance workout. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna look for. So look, I'm gonna do my swing. I'm gonna stop it overhead, slam. Swing, swing, okay? And notice, I kind of do this just based off of uh, not wanting to kill a lot of time when I'm slamming and trying to find the, the handle after I slam it, right? When I swing it and I catch it, I end up catching it and kind of feeding my, my thumbs through the handle as I catch it, okay? So I'll show that again, right? So I swing and I'm just feeding my, my thumbs through that handle, right? So take a, few, uh, take a few exercises of that, of just trying to get that down, right? Because once I have the knowledge of where that handle is when I slam it, right, I can make sure that handle ends up on top and I can go right back into my next swing. I don't even have to look at it because I know based off of my thumbs where the handle's gonna be when I put it down and I can go right back into my next swing. All right, so next thing we're gonna talk about is a squat shouldering. This is awesome for if you do wanna do a heavier weight, I would say this is probably the only time to, that I would recommend doing a heavier weight. Um, these kettle buddies hold up to a 40 pound diameter slam ball. Um, let me know if you actually find other balls that are heavier. Like, I, would, I don't think I've ever used one that's heavier, but um, you know, to each their own, right? Okay, so look, I'm gonna scoop this, I'm gonna put it on my shoulder, I'm gonna stand up, and I'm gonna throw it behind me, okay? So I'm not using the handle this time, right? I'm gonna scoop up and under. I'm still really low into my squat, and then as I stand up, I'm gonna make sure that my shoulders stay over my hips. And then I'm just gonna drop it. Okay, I'm gonna show you sideways. So I'm coming down, right? My feet are nice and straight. Okay, I'm gonna load this onto my shoulder and then look at my shoulders and my hips, right? My hips and my shoulders come up at the same time and then I just drop it behind me, okay? Okay, that's it. So your goal for these intermediate exercises are to take the swing to the slam. You're gonna do that for 45 seconds, okay? So you're gonna go here, swing, overhead slam, swing, overhead slam, 45 seconds, right? Just keep moving, right? You got a 10 second break just to kind of catch your breath. And then you go right into that squat, shouldering. Squat, shouldering. And notice each time I do that shouldering motion, I'm switching which shoulder I'm putting it on, okay? If you need to modify this, you can always come down, go up, come back up, right? This way, in case you're feeling a little bit of pain in your lower back, um, you're still going through the motion, but not putting your body under that, that um, intense pressure, okay? You can also go here and just go through the motion just to kind of modify and keep going during um, those intervals, okay? So you're gonna be doing those for 45 seconds each, 
three to five rounds through, and then we'll move on to our advanced section. All right, bye guys.